The title Folly came very early on. The idea of something that is foolhardy or risky or stupid, <laughs> as well as the reference to a, a folly as a building, something that is a pretense. In a way, these baubles are to me, on one hand, ridiculous, you know, humorous, comical. They could be celebratory, they could be foolish, they could be leftovers, remains. I think there is a generic kind of object, which is a hoarding. I find them incredibly potent objects. They've been eviscerated, the, the role that they were meant to be playing. For me, it seemed to be an important thing to have out here. You know, it seemed a bringing together of two, two things that, that suggest, on one hand, the attempts at freedom, <laughs> and the other hand, the sort of collapse of that. It seemed very important to come outside the building to spill its guts in some way. It's something I do. It's not necessarily an obsession with large works. It's more the relationship of exploring the space with physical stuff that's bigger than myself. <laughs> and that exploration leads into a relationship about whether the space dominates the work or the work dominates the space, or whether it's somewhere in between. The columns have this rent, this torn, gap in the middle of them so that you can see inside and see the sort of banality of how they're made. To me there's a real pleasure in stripping back the grandeur of something or the supposed grandeur of something and looking at the pretense that lies within. I suppose sort of surprise and discovery was important um, throughout the six rooms. It's such an extraordinary space, the way you're led through these fantastic framing doorways. I hope a very theatrical encounter. I hope that the audience, or in my opinion, the other protagonists, the other performers, uh, will be encouraged to come round these walls and see the objects that are then placed on the other side. And, and again, I wanted to, in a sculptural sense, use all the different languages of sculpture, whether something is fallen like one of the columns in the first gallery, or whether it's upright and authoritarian, <laughs> or whether they're suspended as if unsure about where they are meant to actually be. It's a balcony within a balcony, it's a play within a play. So the idea of the viewing position being unusable, being redundant. Is that what sculpture is? Is it a collection of redundant things, but they have associations or metaphors, or are they in a way phantoms 
or premonitions of objects elsewhere in the world. And that intrigues me. I think the phantom state of objects, either as dreams or memories, I find very powerful. Mm -hmm.